we begin in Thibodeau, where there is a large church along Canal Street that has been a significant part of the landscape for nearly 90 years. It is St. Joseph's Co-Cathedral, and it is one of the more impressive churches you will find in rural America. St. Joseph's Co-Cathedral in Thibodeau was built in 1923, but has its roots in the Louisiana Bayou for almost 200 years. The congregation began in a small wooden mission church located about a mile away from here in 1819. Two structures and one fire later, Monsignor Alexander Barbier began the construction of the current day St. Joseph's in 1920, and the cathedral is easily regarded as one of the most impressive churches in the South. How does a church this beautiful, this large and ornate, end up in, in Lafouche Parish in, in Thibodeau? Well, I guess it was the determination of the, the Monsignor Barbier then, who was passed from uh, 1911 to 1933. Okay. And he had this idea, he said that he wanted to build a church that one day would be a cathedral. He succeeded. He succeeded. It reminds me so much of uh, the churches in Rome and in France, you know. I visited there both places. And uh, you can see uh, the architecture brought out this, more or less very much like it, mm -hmm. you know. St. Joseph's is Renaissance Romanesque, and it took three years to build this massive sanctuary. The rose window in the rear of the church is modeled after the Cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris. The marble pillars making up the ornate main altar traveled on a barge from Europe along Bayou Lafouche and weigh 5,000 pounds each. This rural church cost roughly half a million dollars to build back in the 20s and would cost close to $17 million today. I feel wonderful when I walk in here and I thank God every day for letting me come. <laughs> you know, it's just, it just, it just makes you feel so comfortable. You know, it's just a, a feeling that comes over you that makes you enjoy being part of this church and this parish. This church is just the place. You know, it's just, I mean, you sit back, stand back here and you look at that mirror, that window up in the choir loft. And I mean, it just, it just catches your eye. And you look at all the stained glass windows and they all depict something special. And it's just, you don't see this in modern churches today. You know, it's just, just like a church, but it's nothing ornate as this church. Mm -hmm. This church is very, very special, I think, to everybody in Thibodeau. Margaret is a lifelong member, and so is Gibbons Robichaux. One of his favorite parts of the church is the elaborate ceiling, which includes a painting of St. Joseph and intricate gold leafing. In 1954, they brought a gentleman in for 13 months on his back on a scaffold, and he gold leafed. When you see the pictures later, the gold leaf is there. He, he took that like Michelangelo, a little, little jar of gold paint, one, one little brush at a time, what you see up there. If you also look up in the church, you could easily consider Gibbons a fixture inside the cathedral as well. <laughs> Gibbons, how long have you been the organist in this church? Well, I, I've been the organist since 1964. I was in the choir when I came out of the service in 55. So I've been associated with the church upstairs for that long. The same year the Beatles debuted on the Ed Sullivan Show, Gibbons Roba Show began playing at St. Joseph's. That adds up to roughly 500 weddings and about 1,500 funerals inside these cathedral halls. Music background increases your devotion in prayer, you know. Now some people say, no, I'd rather be quiet. 
pray quietly. But the people take a part in the liturgy. You know, it didn't used to be like that. The mass used to be the priest was up at the altar with his back to you, and he was the whole thing. You know, people never said anything. It was in Latin, you know. What are some of your favorite songs to play on the organ? Oh, of course, we go back to Holy God, we praise thy name. Oh, Lord, I am not worthy, you know. Uh, the Ave Maria, everybody asks for that all the time. Schubert's Ave Maria. Gibbons has great musical range. So does the church organ. It used to be in a silent movie house until its usefulness was eliminated by talking movies. A family in the congregation discovered it. And in 1932, there was a new role for this Wix organ made in Illinois. It headed south and was born again. So this family were able to locate a $2,000 organ, the one that's up there now, in Illinois, and headed down here, $2,000. And they've added, they've added some pipes to it since that time, but it's a, it's a beautiful organ. And uh, imagine, now it would cost $160,000 to replace it. Time's changed, huh? One item in the right transept of the cathedral remains eerily timeless. Inside a glass enclosure is a statue of St. Valerie, a native of Rome who was beheaded during the Christian persecutions in the latter part of the second century. In about 1860, Father Menard, who was a pastor here for 50 years, went to Europe about 1860 for on a trip, and he wanted to bring something back to the people as a memory of his trip for the people of St. Joseph. And he, he, found, he went to a cardinal over there who had a relic of a bone of St. Valerie, who was a martyr. And inside the right arm of the statue contains the arm bone fragment of St. Valerie, when she arrived in Thibodeau in April of 1868, all businesses were closed and 4,000 people gathered to welcome St. Valerie to the rural church. Father Menard brought this relic to Louisiana in order to impress the spirit of piety and religion to his parishioners. Well, St. Valerie is our patron saint. And from June 1st to November 30th, we pray to St. Valerie to protect, protect lives and property here in this area. And um, she's done a wonderful job. She has protected us. A fire in 1916 would destroy the previous St. Joseph's Church, but volunteer firefighters rescued St. Valerie and the Blessed Sacrament. Every April 28th, the Feast of St. Valerie is celebrated and the firemen saved her. So in April, we have a special mass for St. Valerie. And then the firemen come in and take her, and we go around the block and recite the rosary and take her around the block. They d used to do that 100 years ago, and we're still doing it. Tradition, devotion, and resiliency are the cornerstones to the parish of St. Joseph's Co-Cathedral. The foundation laid down nearly 200 years ago remains an everlasting reminder in Thibodeau today and for generations to come. Back in 1920, 30 bricklayers used 400,000 bricks to construct St. Joseph's. The cathedral is open to tourists all year round, and it is also very popular for weddings, and folks from all around Louisiana have decided to get married inside beautiful St. Joseph's. <laughs> 